Joining me now is Congressman Jason Chaffetz, Republican from Utah. And Congressman, last week we had Harry Belafonte on the program who squashed his beef with Jay-Z on our program. I'm hoping to go two for two here. So I'm going to ask you if you are interested in taking the president up on his offer of a cut in the corporate tax rate, some near-term spending on job creation uh, in exchange for the cut on the corporate rate. Hey, look, if the president has an idea in the economy, of course we're going to be accommodating and listen to him. I'm not going to blow it out of the water just because he said it. But with that said, I'm not interested in a tax increase. We, as Republicans, have long said we want to broaden the base, lower the rates, and keep it revenue neutral. What the president is advocating is that he wants to increase revenues, and that's where it becomes impalatable. But I I do think we should have a discussion. I, I want to talk more about the economy. The revenue the revenue increase would be a very short-term spike in the revenue that would be based on how the, how the, bro- the base was broadened. It would be revenue neutral, my understanding, in terms of the way the details are worked out. It would be revenue neutral over the life of the reform. Would you be interested in something like that? I get very concerned about a tax increase. That's the way I perceive it. Now, even Gene Sperling, who's the head of the White House National Economic Council, said there was no details released in the president's plan today. So I want to see the meat on the bones. Democrats were very quick, uh, quick to criticize Paul Ryan and others for not offering details. Well, I would lob that same criticism back at the president today. Let's hear some details on this. But do we need tax reform? Of course we're going to engage in that. Probably going to happen in the fall. Um, um, but I think the direction the president, at least as he initially laid it out, I disagree with the policy, not the fact that the but, president offered it. But, but Congressman, here's, here, here's what I have to say about this. And, and I actually have a tremendous amount of ma- admiration for the kind of discipline of the Tea Party caucus in the House as, as, as a kind of ideologue myself. And I have to say that when, when I, the way that I've read this situation is that I am so thankful for people like yourself and other principled conservative Republicans in the House for saying no to grand bargain deal after grand bargain deal after grand bargain deal, because what it's meant is things the president has wanted to do that would really anger folks like myself on the left, like changing the way Social Security benefits are calculated or even lowering the corporate tax rate. None of that gets done. In some ways, you are the best ally that I have in the U.S. government to make sure that these kind of deals don't get struck. Well, that that scares the living daylights out of me. But look, I <laughs> that's actually, my point, though. My I point actually, is that if you take it, if you take yes for an answer, you're going to get policy that's closer to the things that Congressman Jason Chaffetz likes than the things Chris Hayes likes, and yet the Republican Party seems incapable of saying yes. No, I, I disagree with that. I sponsored a bill, for instance, that said those people that are, are applying for and trying to get federal grants, if they haven't paid their federal taxes, then they shouldn't be able to get those grants. Guess what? That was, that was then Senator Obama's idea. I took that bill. I sponsored it. I passed it in the House of Representatives. It's sitting there in the United States Senate. I can point only to the Democrats for holding this up. But there's an idea that was originally Barack Obama's idea. I love it. How come the White House isn't helping me pass something that was the president's idea? And if there's a criticism of House Republicans for being obstructionists, what is it that President Obama believes in that the Republicans what, have suggested? Well, because certainly there's got to be something well, out there. Well, lowering the corporate tax rate. That's a perfect example. The corporate tax rate's at 35%. He wants to bring it down to 28%. I don't want to lower the corporate tax rate. Lefties don't want to lower the corporate tax rate. Republicans want to lower the corporate tax rate. That's exactly the kind of thing that there's common ground on. But it depends what you're going to do with it. He wants to broaden the base by, by, by letting go of all these loopholes, but then he wants to raise revenue. We don't want to raise taxes. The president wants to is, raise taxes. Is That's the, the rub. Is the That's cons- the difference. The concern about raising taxes is just an ideological opposition to raising taxes no, no. In, in, any, in any way, shape, or form? No, look. We, we just fundamentally do not believe that we're one tax increase away from prosperity in this country. And it, there are lots of things that we can do to move the economy forward. Look, I am not one. I can't speak for everybody, but I am not one that is going to simply dismiss it because the president offered it. He's the president of the United States. Of course I'm going to listen to his ideas. But I want him to listen to our ideas as well. It can't just be a one-way street. I, I think the ideas that he keeps hearing from the House of Representatives is 40 votes to repeal Obamacare. And I feel like that maybe has a little bit of a effect on how seriously, how, how much the White House thinks that they're getting a, a good give and take here. Congressman Jason Chaffetz, I really appreciate you coming on today. I would love to have you back Thanks, anytime sir. you want to come.